the president of FNB Netherlands, um, Agnes, who is going to do a, a short presentation for us and then we'll open it for some discussion. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. Um, um, in the Netherlands, the trade union movement uh, realized uh, that if the movement wants to have a future, a future full of oxygen, it should include all working people in a country and that is also including female workers, it's including young workers, it's including people who are either informal workers or self-employed workers. If the movement wants to survive, it has to include all society. Um, and we have to think very good and strategically about how to get all people attracted to the trade union movement because we can say we want to be representative for all of the working society uh, but if you want to have an appeal you have to have an appealing agenda on this uh, uh, on this item and um, that's one of the reasons why I'm so very proud about this project you are all doing here because it's a way of getting people not only saying why aren't you part of our movement but just doing the other thing and say why don't we make your agenda our agenda uh, and therefore thereafter being able to invite people in in our movement. I think the message should be looking for ways to get topics which are important for everyone into our agenda and then inviting people in. Um, I understand that Monica from our FNV Young already told, uh, talked to you about our Papa Plus uh, 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 group. Um, a group of young working men claiming child care is not only a female issue, it's also a male uh, issue. And it's, of course, you could say it's obvious, of course, children have two parents, although not in every case two parents take responsibility, but they have two parents. Uh, but I like to mention this example because it's a way of thinking strategically how to get new attention to very important trade union issues. It's very um, old trade union wisdom that together we are strong. I was uh, in a meeting with students in Tilbury uh, yesterday and uh, they were interviewing me um, asking me about what's your real motivation for doing the do job you're doing and spending more than a average working week on trade union uh, work. And, for me, uh, that was my answer, uh, is that I don't want to live in a world where people with the biggest mouth or the largest uh, amount of money has the say in society. Um, and if we want to make a breakthrough in the agenda, we just have to stand together. My question to you is, um, I believe that, I, I hope that you are a mother. As we are in fully here, most of us are encountering problems of balancing our work and also that of being a, a, a mother. So I, I just want to know, what was your experience throughout the year to balance both work uh, and family life? 
it's a little bit of sadness in my life that I'm not a mother. And uh, the issue of balancing is indeed a very, very sensible, uh, difficult uh, uh, issue. I think in a good society, um, your could be both and a worker and a mother uh, without feeling guilty about uh, one uh, uh, or the other. Uh, and in a good society, we share the burden uh, or the joy uh, of having other tasks in life uh, than just being a worker. Your, uh, you have to be aware that you are, of course, part of a great trade union tradition, but also are determining the future of trade union movement. And for doing that, I'm very grateful to you all here. Thank you.